Manhattan. The Cherokee Nation principal chief election will go on as planned, but some of the votes may be put to the side until another decision is made. Ten News reporter Jason Grubbs joins us live from our newsroom with more. Kara, the freedmen are descendants of slaves, and back in 1866, the U.S. and the Cherokees signed a treaty, and that gave them citizenship. But last month, a court stripped them of that citizenship, including the voting rights. They may have helped put me in office. I believe they're entitled to vote again. That was Deputy Our Chief Joe Crittenden speaking outside the election process. commission meeting Wednesday night. The members were discussing whether to allow the Freedmen Group to vote in the upcoming principal chief race, an election already surrounded by a ballot counting controversy. Our people deserve closure in this election process. Help us to forgive each other. Yes. Outside prayers were said as the group waited to hear a decision. After two hours, the Freedmen members were told they could cast a provisional ballot, otherwise known as a challenge vote. We're not asking for any favors. We just want our rights. Rosalind Brown King says that type of vote isn't good enough. She worries about the rights for her and the 2,800 other members. And I should be able to vote in the precinct. And, and have a ballot and then put it in a machine just like anyone else. We shouldn't have to vote challenge because a lot of times they do not count. It's something that the election commission chair says is quite possible. We will make a decision during the election time if we have not been ordered by a court to do something other than what we know to do. The government is getting involved in this matter as well. The Secretary of the U.S. Department of Interior says that agency will not recognize any election that the freedmen aren't allowed to vote in. Federal funds are also being held up for the Cherokee Nation. Today, the Indian Nation Attorney General filed a motion to reconsider the stripping of the freedmen of their citizenship. Reporting live from the newsroom tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you. The Election Commission will meet tomorrow morning at 9, and during that time, members will discuss the logistics of these challenge ballots and any possible litigation.